What in your opinion is wrong with the world? I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep getting downvoted. But listen, listen. It's religion. The religion answer is always religion. It takes away people's rights, freedoms, education, information, even land. And it's killed it how many millions. It's the excuse for oppression and discrimination and the marginalization of so many. Awful stuff just overlooked BC some book said so. And that makes it okay. We'd be better off without books that told its followers that me and other PPL like me whether or not we're sinful, holy, even whole human. It's not even real. I think the major issue with the world right now is the weaponization of evolutionary signals. For millions of years we evolved to respond subconsciously and consciously to inputs that allowed us to thrive as a species. Capture of unlimited points of data based on our connected usage allows for data harvesters to trigger evolutionary signals that would normally mean survival, success, to push us in one way or another. We're being led around by advertising and power brokers. You may or may not know how powerful the signals they're utilizing are. The whole damn system is reliant on imbalances. Poorer people make goods and do services for richer people. Richer people give the poorer people a fraction. The richest people make all their money by exploiting the poor and then selling the product back to them. Either need to ignore the problem and allow it to get worse. Somehow use their own cunning or social connections to jerry-rig the problem themselves. Or pay rich people prices which send them into debt. Inequality is the foundation of our system and it sucks. Political leaders treat their country as if it's composed of identical people. Just with 50 being totally wrong about everything, they think that if they just keep explaining their view the 50 will magically change their mind. In reality humans have a binary values system that make the two groups very uncomfortable living. With the other, it would be better to tiptoe around certain topics that really upset one group instead of going at of their way to shove it down their throat. Plenty of other issues need fixing and time solves a lot of others. Material things to feel happy and conducting literal experiments on how their brains were so they can make the best possible advertisements to catch their attention and make their parents spend money. If for a but they never think about the people who got them hooked on their products in the first place, or how they're ten but already worrying about their skincare and needing to look good for others. It's depressing. Disconnecting from reality. Information. Caring more about social media than real life. Whatever. People are just disconnected from reality and, instead, live in whatever world they want to or whichever validates them the most. I say this as a victim perpetrator of this myself in some ways. I'm easily addicted to and fall for fear-mongering. Can become obsessive with fiction because reality sucks, etc. So no judgment. Just my observation. To corruption especially in education. There is too much of a power struggle and not enough disruption in the field to change how to make the classroom an effective learning environment especially with the rapid technological changes. Teachers are leaving left and right. Those who don't are on tenure and act like their authority cannot be questioned. The superintendents and leaders don't listen to anyone either. Bullying is still happening and the consequences are minimal. Everyone loses but most of all the children. Big corporations and the government using the divide and conquer method on society and it is working very well. It's not us versus corrupt politicians and billionaires. It's more like lower class versus middle class, left versus right, cops versus people, religion versus non-religion, race versus race, pro-gun versus anti-gun, etc etc. They have us distracted from the real problems, which is them polluting the world, using us as disposable work slaves and depleting resources while effectively shifting the blame on US. People to caught up in the little microcosms of their lives. We're very extremely small and experience life for a very extremely short amount of time. The stuff we get all in an uproar about doesn't really matter a fraction as much as we think it does. It's all going to blow over in the blink of an eye. And the next generation will invent new concerns or tweak the old ones and call them new. You're a little piece of the universe thinking about itself. Sometimes you should just enjoy being a miracle.
Sabisi at fear, sitting alone in silence, reticent to admit to our fears leaves you don't leave us suffering in silence and at risk for global implosion as the result of our own self-doubt at any moment. Comprehension People don't understand beyond their family and what affects them. That's why when tragedy happens, medical or lost people's opinions on things tend to change. Pro-life till their eight-year-old daughter or niece gets raped and then they can see things prokos. Pro-guns till their child is killed at school or loved one is shot at home accidentally. Screw the homeless until the big their child gets a drug addiction. Or they get that one medical bill they can't pay their snowballs. Idiots making decisions on how you should feel about others and turning to being unkind. Everyone is struggling with something. In fact, some of us more than others. You never know a person entirely, so just stop for a moment and breathe. Be kind and keep moving. You never know if your words make them feel better. Because they needed it do good or push them to feel worse and give in. Because they just needed encouragement for it to turn to the bad. Bad communication between politicians and the people. This study shows that politicians on both sides of the political spectrum tend to overestimate how much people agree with them. Maybe politicians are slightly less evil than we think they are, and more like dumb. I wonder if something can be done about this. I think it's pretty simple. What is wrong with the world is the illusion of the self and separation of the self from that, which is perceived to be outside the self, and by extension, the viewing of the external as resources to exploit for the benefit of the perceived self, and entitlement to said exploitation. The solution is the recognition and the understanding that there is no separation, and all of Earth is part of one whole. Response to a different question. But when we all started using smartphones, we then became addicted to social media, giving rise to the generation that is obsessed with likes, follows, and superficiality. I know that's just human nature, but we are now in a place where people are doing things just to get likes and views. A lot of selfishness without meaningful connections. The future leaders of the world. People like the majority of Reddit ruining everything I used to love. The right are right and were always right. Decay started long ago. And now we're literally facing Nuo and fighting among each other rather than the elite. Now we have an entire incoming generation raised on nothing more than echoes of the worst of the previous generation and it is not going to be okay. Those are their brainwashed kids, not ours. Same thing that's always been wrong with the world. People in power are corrupt, greedy. The people who support them are too comfortable and fear any change will make them lose that which makes them comfortable. The former are willing to kill millions to keep what they have going, and the latter are willing to avert their gaze and pretend it's not that bad for millions to die to keep what they have going. People have a tremendous capacity for abstract thinking. This makes conversations very difficult because people don't have to address anything you said and still claim they have. You can also infer meaning or implication. You don't even have to prove you're right. You just need enough people to believe you. This makes discussions on a topic to resolve a problem exhausting if not completely meaningless. The lack of individual critical thinking. People today judge everything like it's a social media post. I don't like. Therefore anybody who does like it cannot be friends with me. The reality is, we are all different and have different values. But if you talk to people in an actual conversation, you will recognize that most people agree probably 85 of the time on most things. No one social issue affects the world on a global level. Different cultures experience different problems. I would say that here in the US where I live the biggest issue is a lack of understanding about how much our perspective shapes our reality. Everyone is so fixated on what's wrong and therefore believes everything to be worse than it usually is, which creates collective tension. Too many people want strict laws but don't want to apply them fairly to everyone. If you're against welfare, you should be against it for wealthy people and corporations. If you want strict law and order, you should arrest and convict the people you politically agree with who broke these laws and hand at the same sentences as you would give to those you disagree with. Honestly, there's a lot greed, ignorance, hate etc. One thing I realized when I got older though is that people live to be in other people's business. Doesn't hurt anyone or impact you in any way. Why do you care? I genuinely believe if people stop giving a fuck about what people to decide to do with their lives, the world would be a better place.
We're turning into a society of instant gratification junkies. T seriously, that most of our kids are becoming more and more addicted to phones and social media. They can't focus on anything and are barely capable of putting effort into something they don't like. Just my two cents though. Trigger warning. The fact that a false accusation is enough to destroy one's reputation. Even after being proven innocent, being blacklisted, hated, and even jumped. I'd rather be dead but happy than to be alive and have to deal with that kind of trauma for the rest of my life. What's the point in living if you can't even live it? Unfettered access to damnate every topic and piece of information while ignoring the context and facts that preclude them. Whatever your opinions are, at least source them reliably. The lack of this is how rumors and disinformation spread like disease, especially to those who may not know they're being under and misinformed. Unfettered access to damnate every topic and piece of information, while ignoring the context and facts that preclude them. Whatever your opinions are, at least source them reliably. The lack of this is how rumors and disinformation spread like disease, especially to those who may not know they're being under and misinformed. To start, a growing number of people of average intelligence have access to bad information via social media, and they act on that information. For example, conspiracy theorists were previously left alone to themselves or small, organized groups, now they have the ability to easily organize and spread their virus. It has become the norm to be extremely negative and pessimistic at everything. BT me starting a new job. They something like, oh well you know that company does this. That and that like bro I'm sorry I'm optimistic at my new job and not letting the possible negatives get to me.